Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. As you see I've got my Grouch and my face on so I'm just gonna put my helmet on so I don't see it so much. So today, well the last episode I got some extreme lag and that was being caused by the mob farm. Well not the mob farm specifically but by the drops. There were so many drops it took about I suppose 15 minutes or so just moving the drops out of the hole out of the chest and putting them into the storage system it was crazy anyway as you can see frame rates back to 60s that's great that's just because i cleared it off and stopped the mod farm as well so today we're going to have a look at a few things that i've done around the base not very much and we're going to have a look at insulated cables we'll do that first of all because that's why i've been getting those shocks from and they're actually a bit of a nuisance not that it hurts that much it's just a pain so i've got in here some of these tough fabric and some LV cables like the wire coils like this. So the uses of this is you can make insulated LV wire coils. So we let's clip that into the place we need. I should be able to get eight like that. So all we need to do now is to replace those. So in my backpack I have got some quartz clippers. I think I've got some of the right clippers. I want the engineering clippers. They're here good. I'll take those with us put those back into here. I don't need those with us at the moment. I think that'll do. And I also up my levels. This <laughs> reinforced large drum was full of XP. That's like 4,000 buckets of XP. So if I actually have a quick look at my levels, you can't see it because I can move the back of an eye. But I can't do that evening. Let's, uh, let's put it in. Let's put it in here for a second. So basically I skilled these, I basically maxed these two up <laughs> and everything's up to around about uh, 45, nearly between 45 and 50. I don't think I need to do this too much anymore, do I? Take that back in. So what we're getting is I put these cables down here. So now when I walk across here, I'm not getting shocked. But of course I'm still going to get shocked by these because they haven't got it off. So to remove these, all you do is you take your clippers it right click them like that and I might right click for these four here I should be able to pick these up let's check I've got the four yes I have good they're all done then so all we need to do then is come back up here and then put these new cables down see right click that that one and the last one so I can safely walk over those now, so we're not getting shocked, which is good. Must be a new feature, I haven't seen that before in immersive engineering. Anyway, and the other thing I want to show you is what I've done with the farm. I, I did separate one of those thermoelectric generators, and it's, I've taken the power underneath here, and it's coming out here, like that. And as you can see, I've already got 14 of these rubber essences here. That's going up and down, it doesn't matter that much. Let's check in the let's just check in the planter if I've got a second seed. I haven't got a second seed yet, but I should get them eventually. And these, this one's fully grown. If I left click this, it'll give me both a daisy and an ender fragment. So I can plant the daisy back again like that. If I right click it, it'll give me just a daisy. Uh, two days so I can basically expand the farm and what you do with those we'll have a look in here I have actually got some I don't need any because I've got plenty of pulls for the time being I think they're in this chest here yes we've got them three so now we've got four so the uses of these so basically nine will make an ender pearl and that's the only use of those so basically it's another way of making ender pearls for yourself which is good i want to put these cable coils back i don't need those coils with me either do i so that one that one i don't need and we can oh that was went to a funny place put it down here like that and then we will you know the recipe for those those stuff things that that's straightforward just some fabric around the um some string around a piece of stick and that'll do the job for that 
Um, e, I want to just put this stuff back. I want to get rid of this one. Now, in this side pocket or this memory card here, I've got everything I think I need for the adventures. So I've got some sharpening kits. I've got a jetpack, which should be not quite fully charged, but we can charge it up. I've got a return scroll, and I've got some toast for basically food. And I've got an interdiction torch. That's going to be pretty important. We've got some arrows of doom and a bow. So if we come across a blight mob, that's probably the best weapon. I've got a drop of evil and a climbing glove, which we can put into our ball ball slot. And I've got another one of these. In fact, what I'd like to do with this, this warp stone, is to make another way stone because they obviously they don't need. They're not necessary. Not really necessary. What have we got in here for iron? Have I got any iron in there? I don't see any. But we have a reasonable amount. Oh, we've got a few stacks anyway. Oops. <laughs> I've got the climbing glove on as I climb up the walls and sort of going through the doors. Walking into the doors was the actual thing I was doing before, wasn't it? I need 27. We'll take those 44. And we'll put those into there. So we need three blocks of this. Let's do it and click one out and let's put the recipe for this. Actually, I must have more. I mustn't have seen it. Oh, there they are. Yes, it came from that slot there. And we need three pieces of stone, I think. I think it's stone. It's either stone or it's the stone bricks. And from that case, if it's stone bricks, it'll take four. And we're just going to put these into the reconstructor. <laughs> it's not going to drive me crazy. <laughs> ah, I think that was basically all I did between episodes as it happens. The previous one, of course, I recorded straight from the back to back. That's why you could see the lag was getting worse and worse over time. That was uh, another interesting. <laughs> right, let's have a look. Let's have a look at the wrong one. Let's do it. And I can do it over here, can't I? Let's look at the uses of this one. Uh, it is indeed chisel stone, so we need to basically go like this. I can click those into place and make a second waste stone. They do stack. Well, they stack at the moment anyway. In fact, I think I should also. Oh, I've got plenty of stuff in the in the dank null anyway. Or at least quickly ch empty out the dank null before we go anywhere. That's, an, that's another thing that should really be on my list, shouldn't it? Is there anything in here that's coming out? No, I don't think so. So I should update my list to include dank null. Right. I think. Well. I think we're ready to go. Let's have a quick visit. Where I'm going to go to today is to where the slime island was. And I think it's over somewhere or other. Slime island. 430 blocks away. Now the only thing I'm worrying about now, of course, is three things. Gas, embers and blazing juggernauts. And of those, the hardest one is going to be the blazing juggernaut. So let's just... Um, Select number five and right click that, and I'll swap the uniform the, the, the over. So basically, I've got this the interdiction torch, which will protect me against blazing juggernauts. Let's make sure the jet pack is actually not enabled because we've got our climbing glove, haven't we? And where do we need to go to? I think we went this way before, didn't we? I think it's probably just as sensible to go this way as it was before. I should, should take some... I've got some torches, not very many. We'll put a few of these down in this tunnel. Make sure it's not quite so black. That's weird. I can't get down there. <laughs> the climbing gloves actually interfering with the, the going down bit. And it must be this way. And it must be this way. Yeah. 
No, it wasn't. I didn't go this way. I did exactly the same as I did last time. And what I did last time was basically I flew down because I got, got fed up of looking for it, didn't I? But that basically means I've got to go back up again. And if I remember rightly, I think we could go through here. So let's make sure this, this is now in tunneling mode as it were where are we some endermen there they can't see us we'll look at him straight in the face he can't see me see that's great so I think we did come this way last time well I suppose I don't need to worry about this do I just walk down there oops no don't quite and press shift when you go over those. And one of the skills I upgraded was also the um, the leveling up. I upgraded the shift, the walking speed. Now where have we got to go to? Prosperity is over there, Undergarden is over there, and the slam is over there. Let's press G and fly. And the reason we're going over here is because I haven't shown you this bit yet. Look at all those. Wow. <laughs> so the only thing I want to watch out for, as I said before, is the blazing juggernauts. This actually looks like quite an interesting area, doesn't it? There's one. Let's get this into play. Now I can hear a blazing juggernaut. Where is he? Over there. So, actually a trick that Bob the Bat suggested, I'm holding down shift at the moment, is I can actually put my food, instead of having food in my bar here, we could actually swap them over. So let's just take this one here, number two, and press F. And that swaps it over. So you can then right click with one hand and left click with the other. Anyway, let's go to the Slime Island. I think I've still got the jetpack on. And here it is. And that's what it looks like. So all I did here was harvest a little bit of tree. And yeah, as you see, we got all of that slime from that other one. What's this one over here? Is this a fusewood tree? Yeah, indeed. <laughs> Maybe it's not such a good idea to harvest these. We can try it. I've got a silk, silk touch pickaxe. So maybe that's not so bad. Yeah, they don't blow up. They only blow up with the other one. So they're worth, in this area around here, there's quite a, a lot of um, prosperity ore. There's some over there. So let's go and have a look at that. I've still got my jetpack on. It looks like diamond ore. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to get this into my hand. And just see if I can block up some of this lava here. that put this one down there probably block that off yes we can and then we can harvest this another prosperity I'm going to use the silk touch pickaxe for this one oh should have done shift shouldn't I so let's just get the right mode and press the or excavation key oh, oh. one good thing about having this now is we don't have to worry about those little blighters can actually deal with him in one go but uh, we'll just fly around to get some more I saw some more over here as well there look it's a bit tricky got to fly around here not go into the lava too much one more out right we can land on that Stone good. So there is that thing over there, so we can actually sort that one out. Let's just right click this. Yep. Didn't quite sort it out, but it's not too bad. We'll just take these off here like this. 
I'll just put some base down here. And then get our ore excavator mode in to go and excavate this. Oh, there's only one block there. So that's what I've been doing to get the prosperity ore. And then you'll find it's actually this is all okay. This is none of the not cannot be placed type ore. So what else are we gonna have a look at over here? Probably not very much to be honest with you. Uh oh. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this one here and we hold it right. We're gonna go straight to the base. Boom. No problem with blazing juggernauts. <laughs> Blight blazing juggernauts. I don't want to get involved with them, they're too tough. So now we've got these three ores. What we can now do is put those down. Get the luck pickaxe out. Like this. Oh, I've got some more. Ah, yes, these are the ones cannot be placed. That was what I was trying to demonstrate last time. What do we get for 21? Let's go and put these down and do the same thing with these. <laughs> I'll turn off the jetpack when I get a bit nearer. Forgotten, I can turn the jetpack off. Okay, I probably should get some um, slime boots. Let's just do that for next. Yes. Then we can put that into the energetic infuser here. There were a few quests I haven't claimed. Now, where's that gone to here? Let's take these and put those into that. Okay, and then we can just... <laughs> too powerful. That could be here, won't it? So, as you can see, quite effective, and we've actually got 36 prosperity, share, prosperity shards from those five blocks. I think that's a good return, isn't it? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put these bits in here that I don't actually need for the time being. I suspect it's always a good idea to keep this on you. Well, let's get rid of this Benerium wall for that much. I don't want that either. Let's break it up. Oh, that's different. I haven't seen that before. You break one and you get another block. So what do we get? <laughs> Quite a lot of ore for one eight. For one piece, that's uh, impressive. Shame we don't need so much binarium, but it's quite good for smelting stuff, I guess. Can we get rid of it? I've got some sulfur on me. Does it disappear? Yes, it does, good. So what else? Oh, I've got some of these fused wood leaves. Another another tree. Explosive personality. Indeed, they have. <laughs> I think I'll just put those in one of these chests. I'm not sure if, if they've got a use or not. Let's have a look at any uses on these ones. Now we can make some pods. So we can make a leaf pile by crafting it. We can make horn of the canopy. There's a few things we can do, but I think those are general leaves, actually. If you look, a leaf-eating generator. So that basically detects any type of leaves, I think. And we can make a leaf-eating generator. From actual editions, yes. Actually editions. So today, now we're only going to look at these. Well, let's get some out of here as well. I've probably got a reasonable amount. 1,368 inferior essence. And you see when I go in shift like that, it takes me further away. 
and that's because of the level up gooey stuff here I see I've leveled up a few of these to max so prospecting chance of getting a double or I've maxed out so you get a 25% chance of getting a double or um, what else have I done on that one that's a level up gooey isn't it athletics that's basically fall damage sprint speed I probably should update this one as well. upgrade this one a bit as well done and the other ones I've done is combat I basically maxed out combat so when he gets these these things here it's maxed out so stealth so that's the sneaking decreases from mob detection that's why you go back basically uh, stealth damage that's when you sh you're pressing shift and attacking mobs you get a 30% melee damage that's pretty good as well I think that's probably a useful one but these things take such a long time to set up and you lose them when you die it's a pain right magical crops it is time to get on with those I've got some bits and pieces in here I actually got some more ore let's we can place these down and get the shards from these as well I reckon so that's what we need ah uh, infusion crystal quest complete oh yes that reminds me there are a few more quests I've completed let's put these down here <laughs> Maybe it's probably better to swap that over. Let's just do that F. So we don't, uh, when we right click these, we're not trying to shift down. So you can't put it down there. Maybe I'm too close. So what happens if I press the ore excavator on this lot? 24. I think that's what, I want to stack in a bit. It's not too bad, is it? No, two stacks in a bit, look at this. I've got plenty of that at the moment. So, mystical agriculture. I haven't done very much with it. It's my first mob pack with it in, so I was playing with it a bit, just so I wasn't going to be a complete derp when I actually did some of this. So, mystical agriculture. Is this all mystical agriculture? Indeed, it is. It doesn't look that supplied energetics. Ah, because I've got signal them as my thing in here. Let's get rid of that. Oh, that's mystical aggregate aggraditions. Okay. So what we need to do to get started with this stuff is we need to make these crafting seeds. A base crafting seed is this one here, which is basically one seed surrounded by four prosperity shards like that. So we've got two of those, and then. To actually produce any of the, the seeds that we actually need to use, we need to use them. Um, let's have a look. Here we've got seeds. Wood seeds, so that requires a tier 1 seed. So this is just a base, base crafting seed. So a tier 1 seed is inferior seed, tier 1. So this is the bend becomes... Is that, does this make inferior? Oh, I need to seed. <laughs> okay. Let's get some more seeds. I've probably got a few of those around. Well, I haven't really been farming very much in this pack so far. 45, not very many. Let's take about eight of these, I think. What do we need to take? Why does it disappear to eight? Good. Okay, I think this is on we use as a base crafting so basically it's this one. Let's take one, let's create one of those. And the tier two one is this one, Inferium Seed. So we have to use make this Prudentium Essence. And the Prudentium Essence is made with a Master Infusion Crystal or an Infusion Crystal surrounded by Inferium Essence. So, and the recipe for this is actually one diamond created uh, with in this pattern with inferior essence and prosperity shards so it's not too bad and the next level up of those if I look at the the recipe for that one so we need superior essence and the same thing now this one's got by it's actually quite a it's quite a trail we got to get to superior essence which which requires four intermediate essence which requires four prudentium essence which requires that 
but basically we need a lot of those to actually get it up to it being that but the next one we just click into place let's just click that into place and take the bag out of the way so we get one of these Prudentium essences and I think it wouldn't be too bad if we actually did a stack of these would it ha not so easy that give me nine and it takes some durability out of this thing so let's try that again I think that'll probably do. That'll give me another 16, so we've got 36. And then the uses of this would be to make the second tier Inferium seeds. So, And then the third tier seeds are basically using Intermedium Essence, which is this one. So we can actually do some of this. Let's just click that into place. Why is it only giving me one? So we need to make... I'm going to make four of these. Like half that in there, and then we get four of these. So we've got some intermediate essence now. So that basically will give us a tier three crafting seed, I think is how it works. Let's put a seed in the middle of this. Nope, got that wrong. Do I need this one? Oh, I need an inferior seed on that one. Okay. Have we got one of those? I think we actually have got one of those, haven't we? Oh, I need eight. <laughs> okay, I haven't got anywhere near enough of those. Let's make the eight. Like that. I'll make another four. That's fantastic. Yes. That'll leave me four of those, which isn't enough. But uh, So now we can actually do the tier three stuff here. So we need one of these. And I haven't got enough of that one. Okay. Let's just, that's funny it doesn't shift click into place, so we need to go around it like this, I suppose. So you use this up fairly fast. That'll give me the eight. So now we can try and do that again. The reason why we need a higher tier is it makes better things that I haven't explained. So, tier two. Can we do that one? Yes, we've got a tier two. So now we've got a tier, four tier ones, one tier three crafting seed, and some more essence. Now the uses of this one, we can start to actually make things which are useful. So this would be the tier five one, tier four crafting seed, fire seeds, we can make iron seeds. If I've got enough intermediate essence which in fact I do have I'm not gonna do that one yet I'm not quite sure which one we're going to use for this one let's look at these of that again what else have we got so we've got nine pages so we can make nether quartz glowstone redstone slime seeds skeleton seeds creeper seeds but we're not going to get any creeper chunks because that oh requires this one which requires you've got to go through and get these mob chunks zombie chunk and I don't know where you get this tier 1 mob chunk from because it's a bit of a, a tier 1 mob chunk comes from a zombie chunk which must be a drop from a zombie but I haven't seen any zombie chunks being dropped drop chance 30% ah of course we don't because we're in we're in the nether we're not getting those yet so we can't do those where were we? I should be able to keep going back until I find the one I wanted where I was before, which is this one here. So those, but I don't know what they actually give you, to be honest with you. Spider seeds, rabbit seeds, okay, guardian seeds. So these are the different things, silicon seeds, copper seeds, saltpeter. Silicon thing we might need, actually. Tins, so these are all the metals, but I'll sell King slime. That would be great if we could find get any king slime. And then we've got these mystical flower seeds, which basically allows you to make any type of flower. Man of steel, basalt seeds, which is another way of making obsidian. Steel leaf seeds. I don't know how we do those. Yep. Yeah. Ironwood seeds, probably and the aquamarine seeds. Basically, probably something else. Then we've got 
Sooty Squartz and Sky Stone. So the next tier up of these, let's go back to the first page, which is this one here. So we can look at the uses of this one. So then you've got different crafting seed. From that we can make obsidian seeds, gold seeds. And there's actually quite a few lapis lazuli, experience seeds. Again, I'm not going to get that one. End seeds, probably not going to be able to get that one. I think that would require, yes, per, per, per block we can't get until you've been to the end. And so on and so forth. So these are the alloy seeds. I think he also removed one or two of these as we went through it. Amber Peridot Sapphire, which I don't think we've seen so far in the game. Topaz, these are different minerals. A signal ingots, that would be quite a nice one. So let's go back up to page one and have a look at the next level of seed, which is this one, the tier five crafting seed. Okay, diamonds, emeralds, blaze seeds, which we don't need, gas seeds, which wouldn't be too bad. I'm not sure what gas seeds give us because they're less of a, they're more of a problem with a skeleton, with a skeleton seeds, uranium seeds, platinum seeds, iridium seeds, enderium seeds, cobalt, manilium, terra steel, which probably would be a good one as well because that's another thing that's difficult to make. Star metal seeds, rock crystal seeds, and uh, amethyst seeds, I think that's how it's pronounced. Draconium seeds, that would be a good one. Eulorium seeds and flux seeds. And then you'd have a tier six one, which is basically nether stars, dragon eggs, and awakened draconium seeds. So those are the waiting, basically. Those are the things which are hard, I reckon and they would be nice to do as well so we have all of that sort of there we got tier six crops i see oh, i see that's just basically the farming thing and another star crooks and dragon x crooks that's probably things you've got to make are they yeah okay but for today i'm not going to make any seeds just yet Oh, I've got another quest completed. Because, to be honest with you, I'm not exactly sure what's the best Prudentium. Oh, I'm getting a few of these quests completed, aren't I? Because I'm not sure what the best way to go at the moment is with that. I'm sure somebody with more experience is going to tell me what how to do that. would be great, actually, because... <laughs> Intermedium. I've done a load of quests. Let's go and have a look at those. Let's take this stuff off here as well. to that lot they went to there didn't they I think that's the only thing significant on there oh wrong place there were actually a few quests I think I've lost track of and they have I had to update them manually I'll show you what I'm talking about I haven't claimed them yet so in thermal I've made all of these machines. I've made the induction smelter. And I haven't claimed it. And it didn't actually register. I've made the Magna Crucible basic. I did all of these in the previous episode. And this this whole thing was all red anyway, so it's all ready to have been claimed. I'm not quite sure why they didn't com they didn't complete. It might have been after that update. So we'll just claim these things anyway. What we could try is this one, centrifuge separator. Let's just see if we can make a centrifuge separator. See if that actually does work. I suppose while I'm here, let's open up some of these qu these chests. Very useless. Oh, we've got another one. Good. <laughs> That's an interesting set of food. Let's put that away somewhere. Lots of jerkies. Look at all that. Clownfish, jerky, mutton, jerky. Interesting... Uh, Beef jerky, mushroom soup. Got mushrooms, which we've got already, of course. That was an interesting loot chest. Potions. 
and oh an anvil and an efficiency fab book that's actually a nice reward for a change i got some clownfish jerky about the looks of it as well you know, fuku jersey yeah that's it makes sense so that's actually a really good reward let's put that in this chest here and an efficiency five i'm going to put that with the other books and as you can see I've got quite a few books in here. Let's put that into this chip, into this book, into this cupboard. There is something else I want to show you before I forget, and that is the mob farm. There, are, I haven't emptied one thing out of here, and the reason I haven't emptied another one of it is this one. I've got 19 Infinity Booster cards from that one hour or so of mob farming. Just ridiculous, isn't it? Let's get rid of these helmets and the diamond armor. I just, I'm just amazed. It's just incredible. That was a bit too over the top. That uh, that mob farm. There's some other stuff in here. Some gold helmets and stuff. And I think the rest of that will go away automatically. It will do. Just sound like a couple of. Um, Embers are dropping down on our head. Let's just put these into here. 19 infinity booster cards. And they're all coming from en Endermen. There must have been a lot of Endermen being ground because they don't happen that often. And they go into this chest here. Let's put them in here. So now I've got 26. So I need one. Right. I noticed that we're getting some mobs dropping down on our head. Let's just. Tell her to or do. Let's press F again. I'll get this one. I'll get this into our hand here. And see how those two things just drop down. I hopefully, with a bit of luck, if it's a blight one, it will survive this. And it's just there to the left of that. Oh. Oh, there you are. Where was the other one? Because there were two, I heard them falling down. Well, I don't see any more. Slight distraction, sorry about that. I'm going to make the centrifuge, wasn't I? So let's do that one. I was claiming quests and doing the centrifuge. Let's do the centrifuge. It'll be this machine, I guess. Centrifuge separator, basic. Copper gears. Make one of those up pretty quick. Could do that, no problem. I might have these. What if I'm missing? Copper gears. Compass. We can do a compass straight away. But you know, I probably should make a second compass. I put that in my backpack. It's not an item that I'm going to use very often, but it's it's there for the um, applied, actually edition stuff. Copper gears. How many copper gears? I might have some copper gears. Gold gear. Obviously, no got no copper gears. So let's just put this copper down the other. I think let's get that working. So we need eight pieces of copper and a gear cast. Let's take that out of there. Two copper gears. Shove those into there like that. Let's come into this, replace this with this one, and then leave that. That we can leave on. I think there's nothing else in here at the moment. So we'll have to two copper gears in a few few minutes. And we need a machine frame. Now I've got those fire mills come up. All I have to do is put this into there like this. And it comes through straight away. That was for another fire mill. Which I haven't built yet. Um, gears I think is the only thing we need now. Yep, just the two copper gears. I've got plenty of uh, content on, I think 
aluminium brass I've got around 54 I made a few of those Yep, I got the two copper gears now, so let's take those out of it and make that. The reason I'm doing this, I'm not sure what it's used to That's a, a newish machine. I've not seen this one before. It's because the quests weren't getting completed. So let's have a look at that. You see, it's not clicking that quest in. And that is definitely a centrifugal separator basic. Okay, so let's have a look at the, the quests again centrifugal separator basic and it hasn't detected can I detect that no done I think that's a bug it's probably because the NTB data is different now the way to do that to fix this is number four it says here centrifugal 429 so what we do press the screen, we press slash we do a BQ admin and then we can say um, com complete 429 and then that will say I've completed this quest centrifugal so I'll look at that again um, sorry 4 go back to the now it says it's complete so now I can claim the loot chest and done and that then triggers this being done so I don't think that's working 100% I probably have to raise the case an issue so Let's have a look at what this does for us. Let's just put it down somewhere that we can give it power. Here, probably. Recipes. Show recipes. Okay, so this is making from black concrete powder. We make gravel and that one. So basically, it's a reversing type thing. different things of taking stuff out making it to basic components yeah well, they can do comb from bees that's probably as a, a quite a useful thing this one is again I'm not quite sure of these this to be honest with you spend most of your time making these things with the exception of comb comb's probably the best one so that quest is definitely not working I mean, those quests are definitely not working. But there are some more quests we're going to claim. Let's have a look at that. So what we got in here? Two Indori, uh, oh, eight Inori crystals. That's actually not too bad. We can... <laughs> I've just been hitting my furniture with my uh, shuriken. Let me just uh, swap that over again. Uh, it's better to eat than to throw things around, isn't it? So... <laughs> Wow. Um, quests. There are a load more done as well. We just finished the. And I don't know where they're stored. Getting food and must take things and things. Oh, yes, magical, magical crops. Is it magical world? Oh, how do I get this to stay down? <laughs> Click. Got it. So we've got all of these done. They must have started from here, Prosperity, so we got this. Inferium Essence, we completed in Prosperity Shards, no problem. Let's claim that one. We've made our Infusion Crystal, so we got that. And some the loot chest, which is nice. We made a Tier 1 Crafting Seed, so we can claim that one, done that. Prudentium, we've done that one. Claim. Int Intermedium, we've got that one, let's do that. Inferium, right. What else is anything in there that's completed? Obviously, we go through the next one. A tier three cr Inferium seed. Maybe I did it in the wrong order. No, no, we haven't done the tier three Inferium seed yet, have we? What have we got in here? Tier one seeds. Okay, so we need a tier one crafting seed, stone seeds, dirt seeds, and nature seeds. They're probably not too difficult to do. We'll have a look at that, doing some of that next time, I reckon. In the meantime, let's have a look at these loot chests. A heavy plated shield. Immersive engineering. Okay, don't know what that's used for, but we'll uh, put it away into this chest. 
Actually, I'll do it in this chest here. Okay, I've got an iron wand and a chicken stick, which are actually reasonably useless as far as I know, because the chicken stick doesn't work. Otherwise, it would be nice. I've got another experience pile on. Got enough of those already. Of course, at this stage of the game, the compact machine will touch actually the nice one. We should do some compact machines. I will get on with that in the next, in the next episodes coming up. Oh, <laughs> look. I've got an absorption radius, a mob masher fire aspect, and a mob masher looting upgrade. And that was a rare one. Okay, not the, the this one might be quite useful for us anyway, especially the other ones not so bad useful because I've maxed the others out anyway. But actually, that was quite a nice nice reward. Let's look at this one. And then we've got these black lotus from Britannia, emit strong magical vibes. And I think that's probably important when we start to do some uh, Britannia stuff. I think I've got these in one of these chests, probably the middle chest here. Yes, we have. So we've got another ten of those. Well, now I'm not sure if there are any more quests that we can actually complete. Uh, done. Let's have a look because this is actually this interface is actually not so great. Solmanium dagger, solmanium dust. How to work. solium dust to figure out how to do that. Thermal industrial environmental RF tools. Oh, we got we guess I got the dimensional shard by clicking that one. Done that. Applied. We haven't started that one yet. What's this one? Alloying. Uh, there's no actual clicking on this one. That's a bit strange. I can't click on it. Done. Let's just try that again. That was magical. <laughs> this is actually rather irritating. What I can do to sort that out now. Press escape. Go to options. Go to video settings. And then change the GUI scale to being 2. It does make things a bit small and I'm not sure I like it. Only anyway, we can do it for this question, can't we? See, it makes things a bit small. And I can't click that one, but magical crops. Now we can crap magical world. We still can't collect it. That's really, really weird. Okay. I think, as you can see, this makes things a bit on the small side. I don't know if you can see that. Ooh. Drop of evil. Look, just choice reward. Difficult, difficult. What did we get with a skeleton? And we got some of those, yes. Let's take the chance of hydrogen. I'm not sure that's a good one or not. And I've also completed this one, GP generation of fire mill. Let's claim that, done that. My printer was making a bit of noise, which is irritating. Stuff and things. Oh yes, we've completed this vector plate. A lot of quests have been completed and I haven't been claiming the rewards for. And I think that is everything for the time being. What have we got here? Chameleon storage. Absorption hopper. I could have done with that earlier on, couldn't I? And another experience pile as well. There's actually quite decent rewards. That's, uh, can't complain about that one. Absorption of it's not that difficult to make these days, but it's quite decent. And you've got these inferior essence. That's quite nice. Let's go and put that away. In fact, I've actually got such a lot of this. I can put it in the... I just simply right-click it away and it goes into that thing. So, that's it for this episode. I hope you've been a bit long actually. I hope you've enjoyed it. Anyway, next time I think I'm ready to go on the trip, on the treasure hunt. So until then, bye for now. <laughs>